Section 2.5 sets in compound inequalities. Before we begin this lesson, we want to recall our rule from section 2.4. If you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must flip the inequality sign. Next, a value is a solution of a compound inequality formed by the word and if it is a solution of both inequalities. We're going to be working with and first, which is the intersection represented with this symbol, and it means the intersection of graphs. Basically, when we look at two inequalities, we want to know what's in common when we're asking for the intersection of those. We're going to begin by solving each inequality as we normally would. Add 7 to both sides. X is less than 9. On the right, we're going to solve this inequality by subtracting 1, and we get 2x is less than 8. Continue, divide both sides by 2, and we solve and get x is less than 4. Once our inequalities are solved for the values, we take our 9 and 4, and we put them in order according to the number line. 4 comes before 9, so that's the order. That has to be um, order specific. After I label those, then I'm just going to come and graph my two inequalities. And my bottom graph is going to be the intersection, or the AND. So I begin by graphing X is less than 9. I go to the 9, and I'm going to put a parenthesis, shade to the left, less than, everything to the left, everything that's less than 9. And that's the graph of x is less than 9. Next, I'm going to graph x is less than 4. So I'll go to the 4, come up, I put a parenthesis on the 4, and less than is everything on the left. Once I have my two inequalities shaded, my and, my intersection, says what do these have in common? They both have, from this point, to the left in common. So the intersection is essentially what do they share in common? And we have this portion is actually our solution portion. The red and blue is kind of like showing our work to get to the highlighted version. So our answer is that um, last line on the graph, and in interval notation, we want to represent that it's going to be parentheses as I read left to right. As I read left to right, this represents negative infinity, and it goes on to 4. So in interval notation, it's negative infinity to positive 4 with the parentheses. Next, I'm going to solve 2 is less than 4 minus x which is less than 7. Now this is a compact form of a compound inequality and the first thing we want to do is break it apart into two individual inequalities. So I have 2 is less than 4 minus x and then I also have you use the middle term for both 4 minus x is less than 7 and this is combine with an and. So we want to know the intersection of these two inequalities. Once again, we're going to solve for x. Negative 2 is less than negative x. Divide both sides by a negative 1. But remember our rule that we mentioned, if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you must flip this inequality symbol. So we need to take care of that. 2, I'm flipping this, x. Now, I always like to write my variable on the left, so x, arrow points to the x, arrow points to the x. Make sure you don't change the value, you just change the order. Over here on the right, I have subtract 4, negative x is less than 3, divide both sides by a negative 1, which once again, we have our rule, if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative, flip your inequality symbol, so x flipped it, negative 3. x is greater than negative 3. Now we're ready to transfer and work on our graph, so we come over here and we have 
negative 3 comes and 2 come in this order on a number line. I'm going to put x is less than 2, put one inequality here, put the other one here, and my intersection as my bottom graph. So x is less than 2, so I go to I go to 2, which is here, and it's less than, so that shades everything to my left. Next, I'm going to graph x is greater than negative 3, so I go to negative 3, put a parenthesis, and I shade everything to the right. My final answer, my solution, the intersection of these two inequalities is going to be the position in which they have in common. Where do they both share in common? What do they both share? This region right here is their common ground. So interval notation we need to represent just our solution. The solution graph is just our final graph in interval notation. So it's simply negative 3 to close your parentheses.